Too many people make the massive mistake of thinking that Google Ads only provides you the opportunity to target via keywords, which then leads to the wrong assumption that Google Ads is only effective in bottom of the funnel strategies. Unlike Facebook ads, Google ads offers four very clear and different targeting options that you can use to promote your business or service online, which is why Google ads and not Facebook should be your number one go-to platform. The four main targeting options in Google ads are keywords, audiences, demographics, and locations. My name is Aaron Young, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google ads master. And in this video, I wanna show you not only how to add audiences to your Google ads campaign, but the step-by-step -step process process on how to optimize your campaign by using audiences. To find out exactly when you should optimize your audiences in Google Ads, why don't you get my free Google Ads optimization checklist, which tells you exactly what you need to optimize every week, every month, and every 90 days. You can grab it in the description below. Okay, let's get into the teaching. Adding audiences in Google Ads is actually quite a simple process. What you need to do is you firstly go into your campaign section, then go into audiences, and then from this section, you wanna go into edit audience segments. I like to add my audiences by the campaign. You then select the campaign that you wanna add your audiences to. Now, I've already got audiences added to this campaign, but every time you come back and check, Google will give you some new recommendations of new audiences. So it is a process of going through and selecting some of these audiences. We can see if we wanna add these. And then from there, you can actually do a search to find out if there's any other relevant searches dependent on your service or your product. Now for this campaign, the product that we're marketing here is like a skip bin or a waste bin service. So we can try a lot of different construction services and home ownership services. So let's firstly try construction. And you can see here, once we've typed in that word construction, it's given us some new different audiences that we can add to our campaign. So it's just a matter of going through and then clicking these as well. Now, another thing that we can look at is homeowners. So I've just typed in home here, and you can see here that this has brought in another lot of different options that we can use. So once again, we just go through and select any of these that we think is relevant. And once you're happy with your selection, you just click save. Hey, before we get to the next point, can you help me by quickly liking this video and subscribing to my channel? This makes sure that I can continue to create these Google Ads tutorials so that you can grow your own business. Let's keep going. So once we've added our audiences to Google Ads, we want to wait a good 45 to 60 days before we can start completing some optimizations via audiences. And the reason for why we need to wait that first 45 to 60 days, is to make sure that we actually have some data to be able to make the correct optimization decisions. So to complete your optimization actions via audiences, the first thing that you wanna do is you actually wanna go into the show table and expand the table and what we're actually looking at doing here is we actually wanna make sure that the audiences that we have added are actually collecting the majority of clicks and conversions that are happening in our account. So go down to the bottom of your audiences and what you wanna be looking at here is you wanna be looking at the breakdown and seeing how many of the impressions or the interactions and ultimately the conversions are happening in the segments that we have added and then how many are happening in this other line which is called other. Now this other line includes the total traffic which is not included in any specific category which means that these clicks and conversions are happening in an audience which hasn't yet been added to our campaign. So that's when we wanna go and repeat our first step and go through and add in some extra audiences so that we can increase these totals and making sure that we're collecting as much data as possible in these added segments. Through the period of November and December last year, in this search campaign, we got about 65%, so around about 3,000 impressions, from the total of 4,700, which is pretty good, but ultimately we do wanna get that up to above 90%. But even with 65% of the data, we can still actually make some really good optimization decisions on the current audiences that we have added to our campaign. Now, to be able to make those decisions, one of the metrics that you do wanna add, and Google will generally not add this into this column, is you wanna go into column, and you also wanna add in your search impression share. Now the reason for why I add in the search impression share, and if you don't know, your search impression share is similar to your share of voice. So at 36.18%, that lets us know that of all of the available searches in this home and garden segment, we've appeared on 36.18% of those searches. And what that lets us know is that we've still got more room to grow in that individual audience. So in this section here, if we saw that there was an audience that was in the high 90s, we would know that even if we are getting a really good performance, there's no point by adding in some extra bid optimizations because we've already reached the maximum market penetration for that individual audience. The optimization action that we do have with the audiences is that we can add in what's called bid adjustments. Now what bid adjustments do is it focuses more of our daily budget onto these individual audiences. By adding in a bid adjustment of plus 20%, 
we're saying that we want to add in an extra 20% weighting for anyone who appears in this home and garden audience segment or in this do-it-yourselfers audience segment. So the way that I go about making a decision as to whether I need to increase or decrease these bid adjustments is I'm looking at the cost per conversion for the total account and the cost per conversion for the total account over this period was $23. So I'm using that as our core marker. And then I'm looking at the search impression share. So what I wanna look at is I wanna look at, are there any audience segments that have a really good cost per conversion and we still have some room to grow that market. And what we're looking at by there is that the search impression share is anything under that 60% range. So we can look at it in here, in this motor vehicles one, we've actually got a cost per conversion of $18, which is good $5 under the account average. And a search impression share is at 36%, so there's still room to grow. And even what we can see through here is that the conversion rate is outperforming the account average. So the account average is at 22%, but the conversion rate for this motor vehicles used audience segment is actually at 33%. So this would be one of those segments where I'd go, we wanna actually funnel some more budget and more importance into this audience group because we've got some really good core KPIs over a longer period of time. So to go through and add in this bit adjustment, we would just go in here, click the pencil item, and then we can choose to increase that by either five, 10 or 20%, depending on how aggressive you wanna be. While we're also in here, what we do wanna check is we wanna go through and actually check our previous bid adjustments and to make sure that we're still happy with that current level of focus that we're putting on those different audiences. And you can see here at these top three, we already had some existing bid adjustments. And we can see here that cost per conversion is still okay. It's probably a little bit higher on this home and garden one. So what we can do is maybe look to go, look, we don't wanna be as aggressive and we can pull that down to 10%. So as a wrap up, when you're looking at doing optimizations via audiences, what you do wanna look at is you wanna look at the search impression share. So in that metric, we're wanting to make sure that we've still got some extra room for growth. So what we're really looking at here is audiences that have a lower search impression share. They also have a low cost per conversion, but they've also got a high level of conversions and a high conversion rate when compared to the remaining of the campaign. So that's the steps you need to take to add audiences to your campaign and also go about optimizing your Google Ads campaign through audiences. Remember to follow the link in the description so that you can get your free Google Ads optimization checklist. This is the checklist that will tell you exactly what you need to do to optimize your Google Ads account every week, every month, and every 90 days. As we said at the start of this video, optimizing by audiences isn't the only option that you have in Google Ads. One of the other main options is optimizing by keywords. If you wanna find out how to complete the perfect keyword research for your Google Ads campaign, why don't you check out this video now? Thank you again and see you on our next teaching.